Hi everyone, welcome to our May product updates video. I'm Sydney from JobScan and I'm gonna walk you through the major updates and improvements we've made to our tools. It's June now, so the summer hiring frenzy is just around the corner. So we did some things with JobScan to make your job search even easier and faster. I'm gonna dive in right now and show you what some of those improvements are. I'm going to start here in our jobs tool. This is where you can search through millions of jobs from all over the world. You can search by job title or keyword and by location. I found a job that I want to apply for, so I'm going to click on power edit and then select the resume that I want to tailor or I could upload a resume here and then click on power edit and that's going to take me directly into power edit. Now you're going to no notice one difference here. In the past, whenever you started a power edit session, a pop-up showed that would force you to enter information about that opportunity, the job title, the name of the company, and so on. But you no longer have to do that upfront, and there's two reasons why. First, I pulled this job in directly from our job feed in JobScan, and so Power Edit is able to automatically pull in the opportunity information, the job title, the company name, and so on. But even if you had pasted this from another job board, you still wouldn't be forced to enter the information up front. Rather, you can go up here and click on this edit icon, and then you can add the job opportunity information whenever you want to. This is just one small, th one small change we made to speed up the process before it kind of felt like another step that you had to go through in order to start the optimization process. So we deferred it and you can now edit that information whenever you want to. Now that I'm in Power Edit, I'm gonna show you a few new features. Now, if you remember in April, we added a resume summary generator that incorporates your unique experience to create a personalized summary that highlights the skills the recruiter is looking for. This month, we made it even easier to use that feature. Previously, if you wanted to generate your summary, you'd have to go to the editor tab and then scroll down here and click on generate summary. Now you don't have to do that. You can do it directly from the report. If I click on the searchability section and scroll to the summary check, it found that I don't yet have a resume summary. So I cl can click on generate a summary. And within a few seconds, I have a summary on my resume that follows best practices for resume writing. If I want to change it, I can, I can modify it, or I can even use AI to rephrase it. This update was made by our engineer, Duarte Fernandez, so thank you for making that change. I think this makes the process just that much easier. For our next update, I'm gonna go over to the job description tab. Now you'll notice when I'm looking at the job description that all of the skills that I have or, or don't have are highlighted in either red or green. This is helpful because it helps you to see the context of how that skill is mentioned. But what if I wanted to just isolate one specific skill and see what the context is? Well, from my report, I can click on either hard skills or soft skills, whichever one I wanna look at. And then if I click on a skill, it will isolate where that skill is mentioned in the job description. So now I can jump right to it. It's just easier visually to see the context of that skill and what exactly the recruiter or hiring manager is gonna be looking for. That update was made by our uh, principal software engineer, David Schaefer. He also made this next update that you might've noticed already. So now that I'm in the, the hard skills section, there's a change here. You'll notice there's a number badge here, it says 28. Now previously, that number showed the total number of skills that were listed on the, the job description. But that might have been a little confusing. It might have made you think that that was the number of missing skills. So we changed this. Going forward, the number that shows here, as well as in the soft skills section, is the number of mix missing skills that you have. And then below it, you'll see again, that number with the total number of skills from the job description. So it makes it a little easier to see at a glance what's missing from your resume and what the opportunities are for further optimizing it and tailoring it for that job description. Now, let's say I want to go back to a resume or a job opportunity that I was working on previously. I can do that really easily from my resume manager. If I just click on this drop down and then click on resume manager, that takes me to the list of all of the resumes and job opportunities that I've been working on. 
Now you might notice we have a different design here. So we've updated this design to make it more fresh and more modern, but we also added a couple of new features. First, I can now search for resumes or previous job opportunities I was working on. So let's say I want to find a resume that I was tailoring for a job at JobScan. I can type it in and now I can see all of the resumes I was working on, perhaps for different positions. I can also delete a resume from here. So let's say I applied for a job at a company called Bolt and I want to delete that resume. So all I have to do is click on the trash can, delete resume, and that resume will be deleted. Now, one thing to note, or one thing you might be wondering is, what if I had that resume connected to a card in my job tracker? That's a good question. So here is that opportunity card that had that resume attached to it. If I open up that opportunity card and go to resume, you can see the resume that was attached to it. However, I deleted that resume. So let's refresh this page. And now you can see that resume is no longer here, but that's okay. I can still select a resume that I have and tailor it. So maybe I didn't think that resume was a good one for that job opportunity. I want to start over. So I can select another one of my base resumes or I can upload a resume and start the process over. So this card still exists. It doesn't go away. You're only deleting the resume. And last but not least, I got to show y'all this new feature that we added. It might be silly, but I think it's great. So you know that you have your match rate. We recommend reaching a score of 75% or higher. So right now I'm at 73. Once I get to 75, I'm going to add some of these skills. Once I get to 75, I get a nice little burst of confetti. And I get that every time I add a skill. This is great. You know what? We all need some positivity in our lives. So we figured why not celebrate the fact that you are now higher ready. You're going to apply for this job and you're going to nail it. So have some confetti. Those are all of the major updates. There's so many little improvements that we've made too. And there's more coming in June. I don't want to spoil it, but there's one big product product update that I can't wait to share with y'all. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, follow us on social media, and stay tuned to jobscan.co. If you want to try all of these new features in Power Edit and all across the JobScan suite of tools, go to jobscan.co and you can start a two-week trial today. Totally free for two weeks. So go there and try it out and see how JobScan can make your job search easier and faster. Thanks for watching. I'm Sydney. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.